thanks ever so much for the opportunity to come and chat to you all today. Um, I'm going to be telling you about a learning a leadership development opportunity that's specifically focused at digital nurses and midwives um, provided by the Florence Nightingale Foundation and sponsored by NHS England and Health Education England. And uh, as, as mentioned before, I'm joined by two of our current scholars, Emma and Hermione, and they're going to tell you a bit about their experience of being on the scholarship this year uh, to bring that all to life. Can I get the next slide, please? So in 2020 and through into 2021, we were commissioned by Health Education England uh, to to deliver on eight uh, scholarships that had a digital leadership focus. And this was all about en enabling the agenda around building a digital ready workforce. And what was recognised was that the current strategies to do that that were being provided through Health Education England weren't attracting applicants from nurses. And when nurses were applying, they weren't necessarily being successful. So it was identified that some specific support was needed so that we targeted the nursing community who absolutely were leading the way in many areas in terms of digital transformation but weren't necessarily getting that strategic level of leadership development input that was required for them to, to have a more significant influence. That group were also joined with five uh, digital scholars from Wales as well who share this same, same agenda. And that scholarship programme has been a great success and, uh, and Hermione and Emma will tell you about their experience of that in just a moment. But building on that success, we've now been commissioned for next year uh, to deliver again seven scholarships, one per region of England, which also include 15 hours of uh, a month of time bought out for the scholar to en enable them to undertake a digital transformation project in their particular region. Now the projects will be informed by those scholars in that region in terms of their interest, but they will also be very closely linked in with the national priorities, so the CNO England's priorities and also the priorities at NHSX as well. So they'll be much more joined up with that national picture. And those seven scholars will be joining the current eight scholars that, uh, that already exist as part of that digital network, but also they will be joined by two scholars who will be known as Digital Nurse Leader Fellows. And for those individuals, they will be supported to undertake a whole one year secondment. And that's with the team at NH NHSX in order for them to do a, a development project that actually does have national relevance and reach. So that's for two individuals um, for that particular opportunity. In addition to that this year, we were really thrilled that HEE were able to support us to develop to develop a digital entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial network. And by this, what we mean is, is networks, networking the digital nurse leaders and midwifery leaders with those outside of our own industry and our own world. So industry experts, the real high flyers in digital transformation from other sectors who we are linking with our scholars to help them see how things are done outside of the healthcare arena and really challenge them to think creatively and differently about what the possibilities are. And again, that group will be joined by the five Welsh scholars. So really gaining momentum there and building that network. Next slide, please. So the different levels that we offer the scholarship, particularly for the fellows, these will be those at senior level. So those that are already in, in a leadership position, driving digital change within their own organisations, but aspiring to take up a more wider systems based leadership role. The scholarships, though, will be uh, will be available to both of these levels. So those are aspiring nurse or mid midwifery digital leadership level. So those that are um, very much involved in digital leadership on track to become a CNIO within their own organisation or a senior leader within the next two years. And then similarly, those senior digital leaders uh, as well. Next slide, please. So the scholarship programme itself is made up of, of two parts. So there's a core programme that is delivered by the Florence Nightingale Foundation and the digital scholars join with the rest of the leadership scholars to undertake this part of the programme. It includes to start off with an individual assessment of your leadership strengths and your areas for development. 
So you undertake a range of psychometric tests and gain some 360 feedback and then have a one to one session with a leadership development coach. You also have a mentor that's allocated to you from our wide alumni network and also our mentor network. And these are individuals that will walk alongside this journey with you. They'll challenge you, they'll push you, they'll open doors on your behalf. We match you very carefully with somebody that matches your area of practice and interest, but has the potential to open up networks to you. You then undertake a three day residential. This year it has been a virtual residential. So from the from the comfort of your own home. And, and that's very much about understanding your own leadership identity, really understanding the kind of leader that you want to be and where your sphere of influence can really take effect. And particularly thinking about where our authority is to influence change. So much more about your personal development at that stage. We then have some time with the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, and that's a two or three day programme where you'll focus on your personal presence and the impact that you have within your role, how to articulate your point of views and negotiate with others, get others on board with your change ideas and how you can really drive that agenda. Next slide, please. We do bring everybody together midway through the programme because the cohort itself is a huge benefit. The networking opportunity is a huge benefit of the programme. So we ensure that at regular points throughout the programme, you get to come together and just discuss your experiences so far and really focus on the contemporary issues that are affecting your, your journey with us. You're invited to the Florence Nightingale Commemoration Service at Westminster Abbey, which is a, a, an annual event where um, we celebrate Florence and the influence she's had in nursing a really grand affair. And also you have access to what we call the Westminster experience. And this is all about how you learn as nurse leaders to influence at a political level, whether that be in your local system, regional, nationally, and in, even, in, even internationally. And you do actually get to visit Westminster and understand how government and policy making actually works. We end with a high profile ceremony to celebrate all the success of the scholars and invite those that have sponsored the scholarships to see the, the, the results of their investment in you. But alongside that, you also have a personal budget. So about half of the half of the scholarship is, is saved for you to spend on something that is unique to your development opportunities. And all of our scholars take this in different directions, depending on where the gaps are for them and where their ambitions are. Next slide, please. The digital scholars also have an additional core element, and that is a three day leadership academy with an organisation called CHIME that stands for the College of Healthcare Information Management Executives. Doesn't roll off the tongue. And uh, what they help you to do is think not about the tech itself, but how you can transform organisations through digital leadership and helping you to very much work at the top of your license to initiate that change, design strategies, encourage the adaptation that's required in the organisations to embed those changes and sustain them. We are running a pro this programme and it's open to anyone that's interested in digital leadership. So if you are interested in just this aspect, there's opportunity for you to attend. If you want to, in in if you are interested, email us at the Academy at Florence Nightingale Foundation org.uk. Next slide, please. So what are the outcomes? So on an individual basis, our scholars tell us that it improves their presence, their ability to be present and influential within the work that they do. They can tangibly see that their impact starts to increase and the difference that they are able to make through their work is significant. They develop self-awareness and to us, this is the key tool to your leadership development, understanding yourself, the leader that you are, but also how you can mobilise that to influence others and also the confidence. So the idea that you can do this, we recently had a session with Ruth Mays, one of our alumni, and she did say to us what the Florence Nightingale Foundation scholarship did for her was to believe in herself that no job was too big for her. She had the confidence to undertake anything. On terms of a systems or a, an organisational level, you will undertake a quality improvement project. For the digital scholars, this obviously has a digital focus. And we would ask you then at the end of that to submit a paper for publication. So there's a tangible output from your scholarship. You become part of a digital 
leadership network and of, of peers and also of mentors. And, and this will influence you not only in terms of your support, but also connect you to that national bank of digital health leaders who will be available to you to support you and guide you and open up those doors. Next slide, please. So to introduce you now to Emma Gilbert, Emma's one of our current 2020 scholars and she's going to tell you a little bit about her experience so far on the scholarship. Hi there, can you hear me? I am dialing in on the phone. Yes, can hear you fine Emma. Hi there, um, thanks ever so much for having me on. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how I ended up on the digital fellowship. Um, obviously a really interesting year to be doing a digital fellowship in the time of co uh, COVID. Um, I work as a quality manager in NHS England for health and justice. So work um, covering the prisons in the southwest as well as sexual assault referral centres and the secure children's homes. Um, I'm not a techie person. So it was, it seemed incongruous for me to be applying for a digital fellowship, but I had noticed it certainly in the environment that I work in, that we were lagging really behind in terms of our use of digital and saw uh, an opportunity to improve patient care using the technology we already had access to. Um, so although my quality improvement project has now had to change, in part COVID has helped massively bring things forward um, in the secure state. So I, uh, I applied uh, knowing that digital healthcare really is going to play a massive part in, in the future, um, but it really has taken centre stage, certainly for the way prisons are now managing their appointments with the use of telemedicine. They were using it to an extent before, but its rollout has been pushed forward massively. Um, and to me, digital really, it was, it was about looking beyond just the use of technology. I, I also saw digital really as a as an approach, as, a, as an approach to be as flexible as possible, um, keeping the patient at the centre. So I also wanted to fly the flag a bit for prison health and digital inequality, um, not only in the fact that, you know, we often are in buildings and environments where it's difficult to get tech that's fit for purpose, but also we work with a population who um, has real de digital deprivation. So it's really important to be able to communicate about the new systems we're using with this population in a meaningful way. So far, my experience of the fellowship has been amazing. Even though we haven't got to meet in person, I feel like I've connected with a, a huge and varied network from around the UK. It's very supportive and informative. Um, and yeah, as Gemma was saying, there is a, a budget which allows you to select courses or um, bits of professional development that are really tailored to you. So for me, that means I'm really interested in kind of service design and user experience. Um, things that, you know, I'd never have the opportunity to study just in my traditional role. Um, so I would really, really encourage anybody who thinks, even if you think of yourself as not a techie person, which I absolutely did, um, to, to go for it because digital health is becoming such a part of our everyday life um, and we are really t leading, the, um, leading the way. So if anyone has any questions, um, yeah, mental health nurse by background, I'm leading a project that's looking at um, how telemedicine is kind of implemented and it's sort of efficacy in the older population in prisons. So if anyone has any questions for me or wants to email me or anything like that, I'd be more than happy to, to yeah, share any info with you. Thank you. So Sorry, we're, we're going to have to just be very quick, Hermione. I know that um, that you've been waiting patiently, but um, if we could just do two minutes, we've, we, we've just run over by accident and we've still got a little bit to do, but uh, please do your little section. That would be great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Um, I'm Hermione Jackson. I'm a digital midwife working at the Royal College of Midwives. So I applied um, for the Florence Digital Leadership Scholarship, partly because I was pushed by my manager, which was a fantastic bit of encouragement I needed, because I think like many, I wouldn't have thought necessarily this was the right course for me. Um, but actually, the more I looked into it and the application process and now I'm on it, I realised that actually this is absolutely fantastic. And part of the reason for that is it's a really holistic approach to leadership. Um, all of the different elements that Gemma has already explained really kind of encourage you from different angles to really develop yourself as an individual, um, which has been really, really fantastic. Um, so particularly kind of, yeah, the um, the work around, they do kind of 360 feedback and conflict management and 
kind of the RADA days I have coming up in the next couple of days, which I'm really excited for. Um, and the chime element, so specifically looking at digital leadership is really unique um, and it's something that you can't really find elsewhere. So it's really fantastic to have that. Um, my mentor is Jess Reed, so she's the Deputy Chief Midwife for England, which is um, a really fantastic connection to have. And she's been so supportive and so helpful. And we meet regularly, kind of every month or every couple of months. And she's giving me so much support and helping me connect with so many other people. But I would say as well, particularly as well, it's the connections you make on the course. So the other um, people on the, the digital academy, but also doing the leadership side. They are so supportive, so helpful, and it's helped me to connect with people outside of my usual bubble. Um, as a digital midwife, it's quite a small world. There's usually only one in each hospital. It's very hard to kind of find those connections and to to get that information and the experience from other people who are doing very similar to work to you, but completely on their own. So it's been really fantastic to make all of those special connections with different people all over the entire country um, so that we can all support each other through this kind of difficult journey. So it's been a really, really fantastic course and I'm really excited for what the rest of this year has to hold. Thank you, Hermione. So just very finally to say the applications are open now. So on the next slide, we've got uh, the information there we opened on the 30th of November we'll we'll close on the 4th of January all of the information about the scholarships and the fellowship opportunity is is available on there so please do look it up and get in touch with us if you have any extra questions